Hey there guys, Ryan and Tony here for another episode of Let's Play Toontown in Britain and we are joined without Jimmy because I deleted him. Get wrecked, scrub. You, <laughs> you can't get higher than 15 laugh, you get deleted. That's the rules of this account. Uh, no, but I, ne I, you know, I never played on Jimmy so there was no point having him. So he's gone and I have a spare slot now to create any other characters I like. Hello, mouse. Oh, I'm in Daisy Gardens. Which is weird, because I ended in Donald's Dock last time. I'm Donald's Dock. Donald's Cashbot HQ. Donald's Cashbot HQ. Hi, Rosie. Hi. You, you, you alright there, Bear? Okay, bye. Bye, Rosie. We always start out the episode like this. Just going to see what Duke Monty's got at his house, in his catalogue, wherever. Wherever. Whatever might be popping up. So, tid Oh, look at this, man. Look at this. So comfy. Mm, yes, Mr. Krabs. So, we are going to check the catalogue. We can't even buy anything, because we have, like, no beans. Watch. We have four. Four jelly beans is on the agenda and don't ask. This is me in a nutshell. I, I need everything here. I, why would you ever want to do that? By gift, yeah, give all, give all my tunes a gift. So welcome guys, this is episode 19 and this is, welcome by the way, to the first episode in Daisy Gardens. I don't have a drink and as you can tell my throat's already a bit sore. I'm very tired today, but I'm happy, I'm in a good mood. So we're gonna record and we are now here. We haven't got any tasks. Brand new from the beginning, Daisy Gardens. Welcome to Daisy Gardens, guys. Now, as you know, there is no gag training in Daisy Gardens, so we can just, we should be able to just get through this pretty quickly. Hopefully. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, let's go see Sophie squirt. Wait, what? Three point laugh boost. Sure, why not? I shouldn't have done that. This was a mistake. I got four laugh points from this. Duke Monty is moving on up in the world, guys. Miss Sassy. That's not Miss Sassy. Midnight nap, oh my gosh, why? Miss Sassy, Miss Sappy is asleep. Behind midnight nap, which is quite counterintuitive. Maple Street, Oak Street. I I need a drink. I can't talk. My voice is dying. My voice is dying. I already should have came better prepared, really, in, in retrospect. All right, I'll just let you all uh, and admire this name dropper while I go get a drink. Enjoy. Enjoy the name dropper. Enjoy it. All right, hey guys, I am back with water, a big glass of water. I promote healthy drinking, healthy eating. Water is the number one option. Uh, yes, throw away your 7-Up and Mountain Dews and, and, and Pepsi. Pe what? Well, that's a cog building. This was all a waste of our time. Midnight, is that a cat? Co it's a... what? You're not a cat? What the heck's wrong with you? <laughs> Oak Street. Three points. Three point laugh boost. Imagine what we could do with three more points of last laugh. L Hello! Is the oh my God, everything is just a cog building. Everything is just one big cog building. Let's erase these oases and erase our oases. Are you the real one? Shh! <laughs> Bye, Jake Bubblegum. No, don't follow me, Jake Bubblegum! Oh, gosh. I've got another hunter on my hands. Another hunter on my hands here, lads. Quickly, run away before Jake Bubblegum spots me. No, no! Stop, Jake Bubblegum! <laughs> Jake Bubblegum, I love you. I love you, Jake Bubblegum. Look at look at these gags. I'm giving you a shout out in the episode, Jake Bubblegum. But the, the, that's not it's not even the right thing. It's I'm there's a cog building, Jake Bubblegum. I love you, Jake Bubblegum. Ha! Huh, friend me! Okay, no! Jake Bubblegum, no! Absolutely not, Jake Bubblegum! That is where I'm drawing the line! <laughs> Oh no. Well, we've already managed to rage at one person. This everything's a cog building. Am I in the same I'm in the same district. What what is wrong with me? Like what is actually wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Everything. But that's beside the point. Enough about my personal problems. Imaginary Karen, what the heck? What is the name? Mm. Mm. We have an actual building. Listen, Jake Bubblegum, if you're watching, I am uh very sorry about that little outburst, but uh... Hello! Uncle Spud! There is much confusion about what the cogs are up to in the new headquarters. Oh, okay, bye bye well, I'm like really weak! Are you sure I'm the right person for the- oh yeah, okay. Guess I can try out my new lure gag. I miss Jake Bubblegum. I really do. I really do miss Jake Bubblegum. He was my favourite Bubblegum. And my favourite Jake. But more so my favourite Bubblegum. I am impressed with how fast that loaded. Okay. Hi. You gonna do a factory? No, you're not. You, what are you doing, man? What are you, wh where are you going? What is wrong with you? You're fighting a cog! I can help you! Oh, he's like my favorite color! Ice! Oh my gosh, I love you! Go Ice, let's do this together. I can stun him for you, Ice. No problemo. Monty is still blind, still suffering from chronic blindness. Um, 
It's a condition that affects every one in two mice in Toontown, we written. Get wrecked! <laughs> Just get crushed! So this is going to be our lives now for the next few episodes, guys. Salbot HQ business, which I am perfectly fine with. Oh, we're in a cog invasion district too, lads. Did I get anything from Salbots in Salbot HQ? Well, that's where we are. These are cash bots, Michael. There is a cash bot invasion. You will get nothing for the Salbot task by fighting cash bots! You see, I am genuinely convinced I have something wrong with me. Something wrong with my head that prevents me from thinking. Vibrant Valley! Let's go to Vibrant Valley. Words that no one has ever said. Let's go to Vibrant Valley. There's nobody here. I just want a fall district. As you can tell, I'm a bit uh, a bit out of it today, but that's okay. Am I just... Anyone? Anyone want to fight a cog? Are you just going to all stand around and be... Oh, there's people over here just fighting cogs. Let's go. What a short mate. Didn't kill him though, did it? Just get wrecked. Uh, let us... Hi, good, 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 good idea. Let's do it. I'm all, um, yeah, I'm all for that. I'm all for the pieing life. These other two are not for anything. They're not, oh, tune up. Why would you? There is no one who needs tune up. That was the most pointless tune up. Oh, that guy needs tune up. I should really start using my thank. That's, oh, 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 I'm going crazy. I'm actually going crazy, but that's okay. Did I, did, did I do the thing? I mean, that was two cogs there, right? There you go. Look at that. Uncle Spud will be so proud of me. I still haven't visited Sophie Squirt. Sophie! Sophie! Mrs. Squirt! Hello! Said, Lol. Lol, smiley face! That's cute. That's pretty cute. That's pretty, 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 pretty cute. Question mark, smiley face? Lol! <laughs> I don't get it. I really don't get it. Midnight Sorrow. Is this a black cat? No, what the heck? What are you blue rabbit for? You're called Midnight Sorrow. What a depressing name. Smile! You're, you're smiling in your picture and you're called Midnight Sorrel. Did I go down the right street? Sorry. I, I mean, I, I want to see Sophie. Brush me. I was talking to my friend. Absolutely annihilated. You just got wrecked. The game crashed. I just want to go and see Sophie Squirt, man. Is that too much to ask? Is that really too much to ask? Am I asking too much? I went and go and see Sophie Squirt. I don't think the hardest task in Toontown Rewritten would be going to see Sophie Squirt. All right, let's go, Sophie. Sophie, Sophie, Sophie. What the, Sophie, man. I just want to talk, oh, it's the same district. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Maple Street, Sophie Squirt. The elusive Sophie Squirt, who for some reason does not want me to visit her. She'd rather have her building taken over by cogs than meet the wonderful Duke Monty. Are you kidding me? Like, are you actually kidding me, Mrs. Squirt? Barack Bluffs. Barack Obama, more like, am I right? <laughs> Presidential. I'm actually losing my mind. All right, Sophie Squirt, you all right? There we go, Sophie has her doors open for the elusive Monty. Mrs. Squirt, hello, I am Monty. Hi, Duke Monty Thunder Goose. There you are. I need someone to set a good example for all the tunes in Daisy Gardens. So you picked me? Use your squirt attacks to defeat a bunch of cogs. Encourage your friend. What are you talking about, man? When you defeat a twi- This doesn't have anything to do with squirt. Are you insane? I'm going to use throw every single one of these cogs just to spite you. Hello, Mr. Bean Counter. I will kill you with my throw gag to spite Sophie Squirt. Get wrecked. This one will surely slip you up. Well, it didn't, because you missed, because you're awful. I'm going to uneven my gags. I really can't do this, can I? I'm going to obey your law, Sophie, and I'm going to use square. I forgot how strong you were. You're a level five cog, but you can miss me anyway, you know? I have to defeat 20 cogs? I just realized that's what she's asked me to do. 20 cogs? I hate everything. Push off. Why don't you push off, you stupid pencil pusher? Let's go and return. <laughs> Let's go and return this to Uncle Spud, because I, I did his thing, whatever. I did his thing. You know, I suppose the, uh, the, the 20 cogs one will just be defeated as soon as I, uh, go about my daily- Momo! Another one in the Momo family! We had Dippy Momo, now we have Gran- Then we had Granny Momo, and now we have Momo. Just the mother of all Momos. Ah, uh, true friends. <laughs> just, just casually clicking buttons. Mr. Spud! I've returned with the memo. See what the memo says. Attention, cellbots. 
I'll be in my office at the top of Selbot Towers promoting cogs to higher levels. When you earn enough merits, enter the elevator in the lobby to see me. Break time's over, back to work. Sign Selbot BP. Ah, if the people want to see this, I'll send it one right now. Please go and get your second memo and bring it back. Bye. Oh, another memo? But I'm really weak. You sure you want me to do this? I mean, I'm kind of on a, I'm kind of on a mission from Sophie Squirt too. She's asked me to defeat a bunch of cogs with my squirt gags. I'm a very busy man. Mouse. Whatever I am. Am I a man or a mouse? You get it? That's a, that's a reference. Hello? What the heck is going on? I think Coach Zucchini was inviting me in there. I'd rather not. Another memo? Absolutely. Super Fireball. What a what a very bland name. I think the blandest name you can get in Dune Town, isn't it? Super Fireball. Just, just throw them. I don't care. Do whatever you want. I know Sophie Squirt's been telling me to use Squirt Gags, but I really want to use Throw Gags. Because they do more damage and they're stronger. Oh, his Lou is better than mine, though. Way better. As his... As is... His... What? As is his sound. Oh my gosh, my sound. I forgot about that. I'm not even going to bother with anything. Oh, and of course these don't count because it's not Daisy Gardens. We're in Selbert HQ. Uh, Oak Street. Are we on Oak Street? We are, aren't we? Yeah. Well, this is going to be easy. Hello? Catnip Evertune. That is a reference that I understand. That's to, like, the Hungry Games or something, isn't it? <laughs> it was a joke. It's the Hunger Games. Don't berate me in the comments for that. For Malina Acros. You dingus! I shouldn't call you a dingus. You're probably a very lovely person. Same mission? Yeah, probably. Just talk to him. I'm guessing so. Oh, we've got another one. Who's this? Super Fireball. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm just... He's clearly preoccupied. Form a line! Go Bumblebee. Why do you need to read every single thing? This is spoilers. Spoilers! I haven't gotten this part yet. This is spoilers. What the heck? You already know what it says! You've just seen what it says! Another memo! You've just seen what the last memo says! Sophie Squirt's task on top of it, not gonna help. Not gonna help matters. It'll be worth it though, because we'll have four laugh points by the end of this. Four laugh points, lads! I don't know how the heck we're gonna do the 20 cogs one. On this one episode, I just dedicate to defeating 20 cogs. Which is probably what will end up happening. I mean, we're going against Sophie Squirt here, Sir Peanut. I, I hope you realise we are going against Mrs. Squirt by picking throw gags. What the heck? What the heck? Sprocket! It is my goal in life to recover a sprocket. Well, that's, that's another memo out the way. Let's go get our three laugh points. Ah, hello, Mr. Cog. I don't want to battle you. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. Back to Uncle Mr. Spud. What? <laughs> Mr. Spud, I'm back with the memo, even though you already know what it says. Attention so much to Oh my gosh. Another. Mm. How many memos are there, guys? I've, I've gotten three at the moment. I'm assuming this will be the last one. But you can never be too sure nowadays. Hello, Mr. Cold Caller. You've got, you've got big trouble on the line. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? You've got big trouble on the line. Like, what, so please stop joining. Oh, you're flying away. All right, good. Yeah, I should hope so. I'm on fire. I'm burning to death. Muddy is dead. Anyone want cooked mouse? Take a memo on this. Well, I've been told to take a memo, actually. By uh, Mr. Spud. Look at this. Monty's luck is changing. He's hitting all of his gags. He's getting all of his rewards. Things are certainly looking up in the world of Monty Thunder Goose. I'm just not going to use my lure, apparently. That's just not a thing that's going to happen. Look at this! Easy! Easy peasy lemon squeezy! Hello! Dr. Boo Boo. Oh, I read that as Daddy. His name's Paddy. Oops. Alright, is that the last one? Can I go home yet? Monty is very tight. Hello. Monty is very tight. Chabadak. What the heck? What even is your name? Chabada. Okay, Mr. Spud, I've returned with the final memo. If I don't get my laugh boost now, stuff is going to get absolutely destroyed. You just watch. There we go. Thanks. Thank you. All right, what you get now, guys? Elm Street. These are both on Elm Street. <laughs> I just love that sound he makes when he's just skipping through the text. <laughs> okay, let's go to Elm Street. We're now 37 laugh. Duke Money Thunder Goose is now 37 laugh. Let that, let that be repeated. Juke Money Thunder Goose is now 37 laugh. I already missed Uncle Spud. Not really. I really did not like that task. This is not a walkthrough to watch, by the way, if you're wanting to learn about the storyline of Toontown. This is, a, this is a let's play to watch if you already know about Toontown. Because I'm just skipping stuff here. What? The camera has to pan all the way up there because you are so tall, Mr. Horse. A bunch of double talkers. What? Double to That's so specific. Why would you? I'm... Oh, man! I mean, okay. I'll do whatever you want. I will. I will do whatever you want. These are all cash bots. What are the... 70% sell bots. There's got to be some... Oh, I hate this task. All right, double talk is... There's just short changes and penny pinches. These are literally the only two cogs in existence right now. Well... Good game, Disney. Good game. Good, 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 good game, Disney. Wait, double talk is a robot. Why am I... 
I was looking for I was I was looking for Cellbots guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you'd be wasting all of your time like this. If you never want to watch this series again, I will completely understand. Because I make a ton of mistakes and I'm so sorry. I just want to do right by you. I really just want to impress you and <laughs> make this a series that you can actually enjoy. <laughs> and I'm just sorry I can't do that sometimes, guys. It's just me. Jake's Ricks! I would like to buy a rake from Jake and then maybe ask if he knows where I can find any double talkers because come on man. We got a micromanager, what the heck, why? Just a double talker will do nicely. Do I just stand outside robot buildings waiting for them to come out? This bay, that's a headhunter invasion. I am so stupid. I'm so tired and stupid and I hate my Lyle. I know there's a cog invasion. I just said that, tune down. I know man, stop picking on me. Okay, welcome to the new district. I forgot what it is already. But I just need to. St I'm tired. I'm really tired, guys. Wouldn't surprise me if I've been with Anna. You know? I just double talk it! What are you, level three? Oh my gosh, that's like really weak as well. Get ready for a double take. Got it, mate. I'm ready. I'm prepared. Oh gosh. Okay, guys, comment today. Last last time. You all did great, by the way, with, with your comments last time about your favorite playground. Um. So today I want to know your least favourite playground and why. There you go, least favourite playground. And bearing in mind there is a right and wrong answer to this question. I'm kidding, there of course is not. Alright, now we're doing two tasks at once. I feel a lot more productive. Double talker, level four, I like the look of that. Where are you? There you are, Mr. Double Talker. Okay, so Maple Street is definitely the best street for this task. Level three though, but this one's level four. So we kill him, then we go kill the level three. Fair enough? Fair enough. Do we get a postcard though? That is the question. 600 out of 2000. There we go, postcard. Now we're three cogs down and two double talk. Well, what just flew away? What just flew away? What's the cog just flew away? Was that a level three double talker? It was! No, because that's this one. I should really calm down. Get ready for a double take. You're the guy who just said that to me and I killed him. Take the hint. Is that a micromanager joining? Is that really what I just saw? Yeah. I didn't need. I don't need this. I really don't need this. I should have just killed you while I had the chance. TBH. But now I've got this guy to deal with and he looks really strong. Oh, look, thank goodness that missed. Five, six times seven is 42. That is 24. Uh, yeah, that actually one of these, one of these will be just enough to kill him. Like literally exactly enough. So I'll do one of those. Get tickets. Oh, we missed it because we're Monty. We can avoid anything except responsibilities. Am I right? High five, lads. And look at that. Just enough to kill him. That was all planned out, guys. That was all planned out, I promise you. Oh yeah, that would come for two cogs, wouldn't it? There's a level six, but I don't even know if I'm strong enough to take on the level six. Wait, level six, I would have seven times eight. That would be 56 health. This does 24. Oh, definitely not. I'm in no position to fight this cog at this present moment in time. And it's, and I'm glad I've made that, uh, This, uh, you know, I'm glad I worked that out before I actually went for it. Because that would have ended. There's a level three. Oh no. Do we just keep going? I feel like the last episode was a bit short, so I'm just gonna keep going. Not until I finish the task, but until I get at least halfway. Hi. Oh, I need more beans. Which means trolley time! We'll just defeat, yeah, we'll defeat two more double talkers this episode. That is my goal before we end. There we go. Does that sound like a fair deal, everyone? Everyone everyone happy with that? Yeah? Okay, good. But right now, we're at trolley time, and it's been a while since we did trolley time, and now we're in Daisy Garden, so it's going to be a bit tougher. But that's fine. I, oh, I hate this so much. I need to make a top five least favorite and favorite trolley games again, because this is awful. I hate this game. Nobody likes this. Does anyone like catching game? Let me know in the comments. But you know, there's always people out there who like what I don't. And I just missed that pair. I missed that pair too. Come on. Story of my life. Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> this one? Ouch! Pair, 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 pair. There you go. Look at that. How many beans? Uh, 11 beans! I caught like 50! This game just doesn't like me. It just, it's just out to get me. Cannon game, lads! First time! Here we go! Three, two, one! Boom! Monty gets it! First time! Except, mm, you see, that would have actually looked really good if I'd actually managed to get it in, but I didn't. Second time is always far less impressive, but I did it second time. <laughs> that was 23! Look at that! 23 beats! Why did I play again? Oh, I love this game, but I really need to get going. I, I can't play this now, I'm sorry. I can't play this now. I would love to play this now, but I can't. This is definitely one of my favorite trolley games, but no one else seems to like this. Everyone I play this with is always like, oh my gosh, it's Toon Slingshot. I hate Toon Slingshot. That's, that's an impression of my friends. Friends, if you're watching, why do you watch my videos? <laughs> Just kidding, I don't have any friends. And third one is gonna be the shortest in history. Into the cactus! Oh 
cool jelly bean lads all right let's go back and two more double talkers that's that's our goal is that, is that a fair goal guys more 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 episode for you i guess i mean i'm assuming the double talkers are still here i don't know why they would leave unless they just didn't like the street anymore unless they heard monty was in town and he was looking for double talkers he wanted the sweet taste of i can't mention blood can i is that is that not g-rated enough he wants that double talk of blood. No, that's not G-rated. When has Rhyme Toon Show ever been G-rated? I got a comment the other day saying my Toontown short was not G-rated. That is like the... Like, what, what is not G-rated about that? I made sure everything was G-rated to win in that video. And I just got a comment saying it wasn't family friendly. Hello? My whole channel is basically family friendly. The Rhyme Toon Show, fun for the whole family, even grandma. <laughs> I'll lure you, because I can. Get that lure up. Well, that was a good start. There we go. One more and we are done. I should, yeah, I should, I should say one more postcard, not one, one more double talk. Why are you go? Where are you going? What are you, level three? Come back! What the heck? What the, where are the double doggers going? Oh, there's one here. I want to stamp you out. Well, go right ahead and do that. Money can take it. Ouch. There you go. Just get deaded. We'll see if there's any more double talkers on the street. Um, and then we'll end the episode, I guess. Does that mean there's a level three here? Why not? Oh, there was lots of cogs back there. I really shouldn't have done this. Quickly! Oh, well, he's just gonna, because you, it's just so slow, money. Was that a mover? Oh, man, I hate life. You look jittery. Yeah, it's because you're shaking the floor, which is probably affecting business around the area. I would stop that if I were you. You can't afford this tie. Well, thank you for giving it to me for free. That's all I can say to that, really. And there we go. There's level four. Come on, man. What are you wasting my time? You're not even dead? Now you're dead. Oh, come on! Why? Why does everything, you know? Just when you think everything's going fine, this mover and shaker comes along. You know, relatable guys in life, when you think everything's going fine, and then suddenly a mover and shaker shows up and he's like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna engage in a cog battle with you. Is that relatable? Does it happen in your everyday life? Double talkers came out of the building. Let's go get him. Got a postcard, good. Yeah, good, I don't care. Come on, man, there's a level three. It's a level six. There's a level three, though. I serve a mean double-decker. I'm sure you do, but I really couldn't care less. I'm gonna take Sophie Squirt's advice, you know. I'm just gonna use a bunch of squirt gags. Money's just bossing it up, dodging. This guy just walked out of the building and then instantly had to fly away. What a sad life you live. There we go. That's seven. That's ten. I think we're going, I think we made good progress, guys. Um, unless there's another, like, level three on the street, which I doubt there will be. Uh, I think we'll call that an episode, if that's alright by you guys. You can't even reply to me, so I don't even know why I'm bothering asking you. But, thank you very much for watching. Yeah, there's nothing left. There's nothing left. We're done. We're done here, guys. We're done. So let's go to a fuller district, which is Barack Bluffs. Barack Obama Bluffs, am I, am I right? Bar Barack Obama Bluffs. And we will do an epic panoramic sweep back of Doom and or Destiny on Sky. Not Skippy, because he just ran away. This guy! No, he's... How are we going to do a panoramic sweep back in Daisy Gardens? There's like no space to do anything. I did not think this through. I've never been here, so I've never had to know the struggle of this. All right. Big Buster Dizzy Monkey. I mean, that's just the best name ever. All right, here we go. As the sun sets on another Toontown day, we say goodbye to the tune who's helped us through this difficult day of tasks. Big Buster Dizzy Monkey. Thank you, Big Buster Dizzy Monkey. For thank you, for, uh, thank you. Thank you so much! Crashed into the fence. What the? What am I? What is happening? And here we see the big busted dizzy monkey jump into a hole and get sucked into the underworld where he will meet his best friend. Satan himself.